weekly news roundup on prince miller in the timmy tv today is the 19th of september at 2023 so guys councillor lavo michael of ward 7 was re-elected as the mayor of chitungwiza town in zimbabwe on september 18th at 2023 which was yesterday alongside him councillor jerita mutikwende from ward 12 both representing the triple c party was chosen as the deputy mayor's Michael secured 31 votes in the election, surpassing Leah Chidamba of the ruling PF received only two votes. The election process was overseen by Mr. Tafazwa Mukuti, the Secretary for Provincial Affairs and Devolution. Speaking after the election, Mukuti said, I expect councillors to support, respect and work hand in hand with the mayor and deputy. I also ask for Discernment and being able to understand that the moment you are elected, you are not a political appointee but a full government official. We take our politics, be it ZANPF or Triple C, to our party offices. The moment we came here, residents expect us to see city fathers and mothers who are going to help and lead them. During his acceptance speech, Mayor Michael expressed his commitment to prioritize the well-being of the residents. He acknowledged the responsibility and leadership required to provide reliable and quality service to the municipality's residents, emphasizing his dedication to fulfilling his duty. He said, I accept this with a, a huge sense of responsibility and the agency of leadership in delivering quality service to the residents of our municipality reliably councillors are residents first before they are older men and collectively we shall remain conscious of this and plan implement and evaluate within the framework of this position michael was first elected mayor in 2018 but in march 2022 was recalled by the opposition and the city led by douglas monzora he is one of the dozens of councillors and legislators who were recalled by the MDCT since the 2020 Supreme Court ruling on the MDC leadership crisis. In Shungiza, there are a total of 33 councillors, among them 25 were elected as ward councillors, while the remaining 8 were selected through proportional representation. The NPF has three councillors representing them in the municipality. And Kuna Shungiza Mayor. Um, Maiko and um, his deputy, yes, um, deputy mayor is yes, uh, councillor Jerita Mutikwende. Do agree with uh, secretary for provincial affairs and devolution, uh, Mr. Tafazo Mukuti. But uh, what we take our politics, uh, be it an PF or triple C to our party offices, which is 100 percent true. I mean. Kanawa councillor has never to go to triple C. Kanawa is an appeal. You are representing the whole community, the whole community, regardless of your party affiliation. So, young way, I put my councillor as a Ajishanda. And my promise is I had promise I pango my elections. Young way, I put my councillor as the kiss. My promise is I get high. There's no excuse of saying A, B, C, D. And if I go for our councillor, Chita Basaracho, quite a cool. One on the council and grass song because I'm going to think some of the decisions from I mean, that's not okay. And so we'll be keeping you guys up to date here with the latest on a weekly news roundup on Prince Minded Semi TV. We need to hear this council as accountable. Voter again after you know, personal to Nanga Ita and it is to know who are voter abuse and why that's something in our communities. We can't just keep on voting for them because in the trip is it. I got to know to have a good idea. So I found a council as we need to hold them accountable first. This is weekly news roundup. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Thank you.